Today we're going to learn about tracing wires uh, inside a vehicle, and, and, and particularly tracing wires when um, things aren't making sense. So what I'm working on basically uh, from another video I've been doing also is installing a new radio in a 2009 Ram 2500. Uh, this truck has the Infinity sound system, which means it has an amplifier up behind uh, above the glove box in a very difficult location. So at this point in the project, I was tracing out the wires to each speaker. I was able to successfully trace out the wires to the front door speakers, um, the front dashboard speakers, and the center speaker. And no matter what I did, I couldn't trace the wires properly to the rear doors. And uh, I'll show you how that works now, I'll show you what I found. Um, so this will be teaching you about how to trace wires and also about a common, uh, I'm assuming, a common problem with the wiring in these Dodge trucks. Okay, so up here in this Dodge truck, that's the amplifier up there. This is all the wiring that I've cut and tested to try and find uh, the correct speaker wires. And what I have down here is I've got my Fluke wire toner tool. So basically what this does is this part of the tool puts a signal on a wire. Uh, actually, it's like a musical tone. It can be a solid tone or a musical tone based on what you really want. Um, and then you would you can use this wand if you need to to trace that signal where it's going. Okay, so um, this is actually designed for home low voltage installs or in buildings. You can trace Cat5, Coax, Speaker wiring, do all kinds of stuff with this tool. It's very versatile. So um, what I've done right now is I've connected it to the speaker wires that I know go to this front door speaker. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it on. So now we hear a solid tone coming from this speaker, okay? We can also adjust it. That'll give us a, a sort of a musical tone. And over time, this rotates different uh, sounds. Um, and it helps you track down the wire at the end of the run in a building, or you can know which speaker you're connected to, okay? So I'll shut that back off. And I'll show you another way this works. I'm gonna connect it now to the wires in the re right rear door that I wasn't able to find earlier. Okay, so now I've got this tied in to the correct wires that I know go to that right rear door. So here's how you use this wand. You got a volume knob here, depending on, you know, how loud you want it. Press the button. So we're that far away. And we can actually hear from the tool the sound being transmitted without even connecting directly to the wires. Okay, so that's how it works. So now, if I want to, I can actually follow this. So another way you'd be able to trace this is behind this panel, you got your harness, okay? And when that's pushed into that harness, you can hear that sound, okay? So that helps you trace it step by step through the vehicle as long as you can get close to the harness. It's there, it's before the brake, obviously it's not after the brake. So this tool made it a lot easier to trace exactly where I lost that signal. So now in this project, I just need to repair these here and that'll fix my problem. I'll also repair this one that started the break. I'm not sure what that wire goes to, but we'll get that fixed also. So, so that's just a real quick example of one way you can use a wire toning tool like this. Uh, my affiliate link will be in the description for these. They're very handy. You can use them for everything. Home wiring, vehicle wiring, commercial wiring. Um, it just has to be on a circuit that's not powered is what you want. Um, this is also real helpful if you work in, uh, in IT. If you've run multiple runs of Cat5, you know, some systems, even, uh, you know, your homes now maybe have uh, a couple dozen runs of Cat5 going in different rooms. And if you're trying to figure out which one goes to which room, you attach the other part of this uh, to one end of the cable, and you read the other end of the cable with this. And that's how you can track wires down. It's a super helpful tool. I've used it all kinds of different ways. Today's just one other example. So I hope this helps you uh, figure out some of your wiring problems. And thank you very much.